Hi there, folks, and welcome to another Workspace Wednesday. This week, we're going to learn about a very cool trick that you can use inside of Google Docs to create tasks that'll lead you right back to the document that you're taking notes in or assigning the tasks in. So let's jump right in. Now, behind me, you'll see our Google Calendar. And if you've been using Google Calendar, you know that one of the new features is to assign meeting notes. So we have our meeting notes attached right here. We're going to say that we're opening up a meeting to show people how to assign tasks in Google Docs. We're going to go ahead and just click on that and it'll open up our Google Doc. Now you'll see there's a pretty cool layout here. So if you're in a meeting and you attach meeting notes, this is how it's going to look. And you can take all your notes here and just put in the attendees have all those important things but right down here you'll see action items a lot of times in a meeting you'll have action items that need to be taken care of and so you see that we have our checklist here now let's say that somebody gets an action item to call Susan and talk to Susan about a project so what we're gonna do in the meeting is just go ahead and type it right in call Susan about ongoing project and once you get that in there, you can come right over here next to uh, your checkbox there, and you'll see this assign task. So you can click on assign tasks, and then you'll see you can assign your assignee, and that could be anyone on your team, anyone in your contacts. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and assign it to ourselves. And so we've got that there. And then you can also assign a due date. So we'll say that that's gonna be due tomorrow and then we're going to click on assign task and you'll see that that task is there this person will get an email in their inbox and a notification that'll link them directly back to this google document now let's say that you're not using <clears throat> the task list that's already in there and maybe you want to assign a different action item well, all you got to do is assign your checklist and it'll be the same thing here. So let's say for this action items, we need to procure some hardware. Um, we might say that procure hardware for project. And then we come right next to it. You'll see that assigned task show up. And we're going to assign that one to ourself again. And again, you can assign that to anyone in your contacts list. And we'll say that this one is due on Friday of this week. Now, one other thing that you can do if you're taking a bunch of notes here, let's say that uh, in any Google document, you're taking some notes, and in this case, we'll say project is running late. Please begin, or um, huddles need to run daily. Whatever the action item is, maybe that's a note that you grab, and so you want to assign a task here. So we go ahead and highlight it. We can come over here to um, this add comment. You'll see that pop up. And you can write a note in here. Can you please schedule huddles daily? And then we're going to go ahead and type in the email of the person that we want that to go to. You can click on it. Now, this will automatically send them an email in their inbox, and they can assign the task how they want from their email box. Or I can assign it to whoever's email is there, and it'll show up in their task list automatically. So we're going to go ahead and just comment that and then let them take care of the task. So those are three different ways that you can assign tasks inside of Google Docs. If you've got any questions about assigning tasks in Google Docs, please feel free to comment down below. And if you found this helpful and that you'd like to use it, please subscribe to the channel and we'll be back next time with more tips for Google Workspace. We'll see you next time right here on Lean Strategies International, LLC. Thank you.